Joseph Amato, who was also known as Joe D'Amato, was the boss of Milwaukee. He was born in Sicily sometime between 1880 and 1884. He died March 28, 1927, technically on record anyway. He worked in one of the city's steel mills and also declared himself to be a modest railroad laborer. Amato either succeeded Peter Godlabini, Garda Labini, uh, as head of the Milwaukee family in 1924, or some people think they shared power. Guadalabeni was the son of Milwaukee's first boss, Vito. Peter took over in 21 when his father died. As a, he was a high-ranking member of the Milwaukee Sanitation Department, and he got by by hiring newly arrived Italian immigrants and then extorting them for cash. They did the same thing to work, in other words, as trash haulers. Uh, Big Jim Calismo did the same thing in Chicago for a while. Anyway, his Monte Carlo Club was a really popular uh, Prohibition era speakeasy, and it had extravagant shows and expensive meals and all that, big, big liquor selection. Federal Prohibition agents raided it time and time again. Finally, they just got tired of it, and federal uh, pressures were put on the Milwaukee's authority to stop taking money and declare the place a public nuisance, which they did. In February 27th, Amato and Garda Labeni wanted a hood named Alberto Speciel out of the way. Now, some people say it was a personal thing, that maybe there was a woman involved, or, uh, or maybe it was business, who knows. But they dispatched Vito Ballesteri and Joe Gumini, Gumina, I'm sorry, to kill him. Uh, so with Speciale dead, they ordered his mistress, Gina Portiero, out of the city as well. So, Otherwise, the years they ran Milwaukee were, you know, relatively peaceful compared to other U.S. cities, especially mafia groups and others, especially Chicago. Uh, Amato died of natural causes, March 28, 1927. He was succeeded by Joe Vallone, who ruled from 27 until 1952. Wow.